Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. So guys, this week has been uh, an interesting week for me because I was actually sick. I'm still kind of sick at the moment. I'm not, I don't really consider myself like sick sick at the moment but I still kind of have a slight like the teeny tiniest uh stuffy nose not to the point where it like hurts or anything like that like it doesn't bother me it's just kind of a little teeny bit annoying just because like it's like I'm not sick anymore but I still have that I still have something in my nose and it's kind of it's just annoying but um I'm still in a good mood I'm feeling better so my cold allergy thing only lasted for like a day um but it was just the aftermath of it like making the stuffy nose go away completely is just like annoying but anyways so right now you guys might notice that my voice because of that reason is a little bit different it's a little odd um but it's not that bad it's actually not anyways so today we are playing the sims 4 100 baby challenge and i'm really excited today is going to be a good day you know oh look at look at look look at rebecca i don't know her name look at rebecca look at all snazzy and oh and then look at um who's that <laughs> dara derek eliza who is now a teen they're both teens now which is crazy and then eliza and izzy um not izzy lizzie whoops i always forget our kids names already wow that's sad but yes anyways so we are picking up just a couple hours later than the last time that we recorded so it's still Tuesday it's just nighttime pretty much everyone is in bed but I do have some things to explain to you guys because some things happened off camera like I said I just played off camera for like a few sim hours so um, not too much time has passed why is there what, what is this what, who, who put the sugar cookies on the floor oh my goodness and I can never drag it Okay, there we go. Um, but basically what I had these guys do is I had Lauren actually invite her little boyfriend here to live with us. Um, so he is now living with us. Now, the thing, now you guys probably, if you've been watching this LP, you already know, he's not going to stay here, nor is Lauren going to stay here. I basically just like to move their boyfriends in. Because these two are going to have to get married, and then they're going to probably try for a baby um, and then move out. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do, but it just makes it a lot easier to have the person's boyfriend or girlfriend living in the house with us just for right now, because it, now we can control them, you know, it just, it, it helps. Um, but anyways, so yes, all of our little kiddos here are in bed, and we actually do need to change Derek's little, uh, outfits here, because in the last part we aged him up into a teen. That's crazy. So we're definitely going to have to change his outfits as well as Orion's outfits as well. Outfits as well. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, all, yes, just all the kids are sleeping. Um, Eliza's just heading off to bed too. Uh, Orion, of course, like all of his needs are really, really good. So he's not tired or anything. So I just, I might actually have him work on some skills. Um, yeah, he's not going to go to sleep. He might actually, like, do, can he, like, repair anything? Um, is he, can he be used for anything? He also has old homework. He should probably sell that. Um, he wants to be a comedian. Wow. Um, anyways, and guys, one thing that I find to be a little weird is it says that he doesn't have a job. Um, but I could have swore he worked at the spa, so I'm a little confused. But on his skills, he has a 7 in the wellness skill. Uh, ooh, he's also level 2 of violin, level 2 of painting, level 3 of fishing. Ooh, ooh, he has really good skills, actually. But yeah, see, he doesn't have a job. So I think before we move him out, which will probably be in the next part, I will end up having him join a career just so that Lauren and them have, like, you know, something to do. And I'm... And I'm debating on whether or not I should give Lauren a job. Now, technically, the rules of the challenge, uh, we can't give them a job at the moment because the money would go to us, which is against the rules. Then again, I do a lot of things that are against the rules. Uh, but, you know, uh, so I think, yeah, right before we move them out, I might give them both jobs just so they have a way of getting money, you know? Um, but I'm not too sure. But anyways, so let's go ahead and actually have Orion stop doing that, and he is going to work on something for us. You're gonna be useful for us, you know? Um, hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and check out his skills. Um, 
I don't know. He has a really good fishing skill. Maybe he should fish for us, and then we can, like, sell this. Oh, we don't live by a lake. A freaking course. Maybe I can have him just uh, go outside and get us some collectibles and stuff. I think that works. I think that works, guys. We're just using him. Yes, Felicia. <laughs> Why do I talk like that? Uh, so go, ahead, go ahead and stop watching TV, and you're going to come dig up these rocks. Um, are there any strawberries? Is that an onion plant? Oh, that's a carrot plant. So we get some carrots. Uh, is there any other little things? Strawberry bush. Cool. We got some strawberries. Um, we got some more rocks. Yes, guys, this is what we do. When someone... Oh, he's chaos ball. Whatever. Um, let's see if Maddie's actually home. Oh, I just wanted to see. Is Maddie home? Because they're never home. No one is home! Where are their children? Oh, that's not Maddie's house. That's Gavin's. But where are the children? It's 10 at night. I'm so confused, guys. Like, how come they are never home? It's a little scary when you think about it. Did they sleep over at someone's house? Uh, no one's here either. What the heck? This is so confusing, guys. Is there anyone at the park? It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, we also have a cherry tree. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, they're never home. It's kind of creepy, if you ask me. Like, what? Where Where are they? It doesn't make sense. But anyways, so... Um, I have the mom getting up here. She needs to come use the bathroom because, um... You know, problems. People have to go to the bathroom. When you have to go, you have to go. Uh, one thing that I actually want to show you guys, too, is she is going to be giving birth more than likely in this part. It says that she is in her third trimester, and she gives birth, and question mark, question mark, question mark, so that's, that's cool. I do actually want to check up on these people's ages as well. Lauren, obviously, um... Uh, it's going to be a while before she turns into an adult. Eliza has six days until she's an adult and she moves out. No! Um, Derek, he just aged up, so he still has a while uh, before he turns into an adult. Lizzie has five days. Oh, my gosh. And Adam still has a while. And now we have a baby on the way. So that's that's exciting. That's really exciting. Okay, you're going to sleep, right? Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's go ahead and check up on our only person awake right now, Orion. Look at, look at him go. Good job, Orion. We love Oh, come on. You messed up my picture. You messed up my picture, Orion. What? Don't don't laugh. That's that's so evil. Anyways, Orion, just go go do it. Go go do stuff, okay? Anyways, I I seriously don't get why their fam Oh, we should probably turn the lights off. Um he has a gardening skill. That's cool. Probably turn the lights off, though, because we don't need our bills to be super high. So let's go ahead and turn off all those lights. Uh, but yes, I'm so... Oh, gosh. He might get abducted by aliens, guys. Because it's getting late. Um, and... Oh, my gosh. And he'll become pregnant. That's the... Yes. He's getting... He, he's he, he's going to get abducted by aliens, guys. Yes. That's what we're going to do. We are literally going to do that right now. Oh, my gosh. He's gonna have a, they're gonna have an alien baby. That would be cute. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so weird, guys. Anyways, um, Orion, we love you right now. We really do. And sorry, guys. I noticed that when I talk, a lot of times what happens is I talk about something and I quickly cut to talking about something else. I just talk a lot and I talk really fast, so I apologize. It's just, that's just me, you know. Um, but anyways, um. Uh, all right, is there any other rocks? There are a lot of rocks. What am I talking about? Um, that's what I love about The Sims 4, though. It seems to be like there's a lot of rocks and little collectibles that you can find. In The Sims 3, you could do that, but, I mean, I don't know. It just wasn't as fun, but this way, it's it's easy, it's fun, I love it. Uh, cherry tree, go ahead and harvest it. Please get abducted by aliens. Uh, when Rebecca got abducted by aliens, which was off camera, ugh, but, um, that was in a different part, um, I believe. One of my most recent parts, she got abducted by aliens, but it was off camera. Um, but I believe it happens around somewhere between, like, 1 and 3 in the morning, so, um, yeah. Hopefully he, get, he gets abducted. Uh, that would be so cool. <laughs> and he'll become pregnant. Well, he can become pregnant. Uh, so that's that, that's nice. That's always a good thing. Um, yep, we're just getting collectibles. And he, they're not, he's not going to get to keep any of the stuff because we're keeping it for ourselves. So, you know, yes. Yes. That's just what we do in the race household. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got an onion plant, but it's cute as well. Hurry up, bruh. Come on. Cool, we found quartz. Okay, we got some onions. Ooh, what? What? 
What? Wait, why can he teleport? How do you get to teleport? What? Ooh, he doesn't have a good relationship with Dinah. Ooh, he was in a relationship with her, but they're despised now. Um, and this is his mother, by the way. That's cute, but... Oh, he stole our name. Oh no, Gavin Richards, he stole our name. Our son's name. Anyways, um, why can he teleport? Is that, like, what aliens get to do? Hold on, guys. I'm not gonna look this up because this is Cray. How can he teleport? That, what? None of our other sons can teleport? What the heck? Okay. I want to see his stats. Okay, oh, that's a lie. Um, but... What? What? This makes no sense. I do not get this, guys. I do not get this. Why can he teleport? Is he, like, an alien or something? Is this, is this what this... What? Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Hold on. Be right back, guys. Alright guys, so I actually figured out that it is because I have uh, cheats turned on. Um, I was working on, I believe, either our house or a different house. I can't even remember. But I had to uh, fix something that was going wrong with the house or something like that. I don't know. I had the cheats turned on, I guess. And so that's why he can teleport. It's still a little confusing, though, because how come he can teleport but no one else can? I mean, because they're not walking. That makes sense. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and be be right back. I'm going to just kind of have him collect stuff, and I'll be right back if something interesting happens of some sort, but I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we just returned home, or had Orion return home, I should say. He did not get abducted by aliens, unfortunately, um, but you know what? It's okay. Anyways, I want to go ahead and it's now 3.58 a.m. So the kids and stuff are going to have to start getting up soon and things like that. But um, I want to have him like send in all of these little, what are these, minerals and stuff like that. And I want to like open up the capsules and see what we get. So first thing I'm going to have him do is I'm actually going to have him send in... Um, should we call about the samples? Like, is that even... No, I'd rather just send them in so we can get our stupid little, uh, what are those things called? The, the little things that we've been putting in our element rack. Yes, um, our little element rack over here. Um, alright, let's go ahead and also have him extract some of these fossils to... Um, and we see what we get. If it's something we already have, I'm not going to use it. Okay, we have a broken fossil. Uh, these are not... Oh, they're worth ten. Ten little dollars. Uh, prehistoric rock. We don't have this, I think, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's common, but, uh, cute. Um, so I think I'm actually going to, uh... I don't know, we're going to keep it because, you know, <laughs> that Orion just needs to collect stuff for us, pretty much, you know? Um, so I'm trying to, like, put it somewhere, but it doesn't want to go anywhere, so I guess it's going on the floor. <laughs> for now, it's just going to go on the floor. He also got a frog. This is a striped dirt frog, which I believe we already have this frog. Um, I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and check, though. Um... Let's see, this one here is a hypno frog. We have a dirt well. Oh, and it, okay, so we don't have that one. Okay, then we'll keep it. We will keep that. We will keep that, Orion. You don't get to keep it. Uh, let's also go ahead and really quickly deal with all these uh, little vegetables and stuff. All right, we already have 20 strawberries, so we do not need 20 more. We already have our own plants, so let's go ahead and sell those. So we got some more money. Uh, cherries, we already have 49 cherries, so we'll go ahead and sell the rest of these that he got. And we also have 32 carrots, so we will sell these carrots. Um, now let's go ahead and open up all of these exciting little, uh, things here. I love these capsule things. They're, they're so, they're so fun. <laughs> so fun. All right, um, Okay. So far, we already have these two, so that's not that fun. Go ahead and open that up. Open that up. Open this up. Come on, can we get something rare? We have most of these. Oh my goodness, no. 
<laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. First of all, okay, let's let, let, let's check this out, guys. Uh, this little girl here we actually got in one of our past parts. I believe it's either the last part or the part before that. So we already have her, so let's go ahead and, you know what, we'll just keep them in his inventory. They can put it in their new house. Uh, Chef Gino, we already have that. DJ Candy will sell one of them, but they can keep this one for their house. Oh, I sold both of them! No! Okay, it's, it's not a super big deal, but, I mean, come on. Yeah, we pretty much have all these. That wasn't exciting, guys. That really wasn't. Um, I do want him to get to bed, but first I'm going to have him clean out the spoiled food. <laughs> yes, Orion, that's what you do when you come live with us. You should have said no, but you said yes, so, you know. Um, so he's just going to do that, and then he, I'm going to have him go to the bathroom, and then he is going to head to bed. Uh, we're going to have you sleep in this bed. Who is Oh, we have two boys. That's right. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and start getting these children up. Rebecca still needs to get her sleep. Uh, Lauren will let her sleep in. She's not at school. She's an adult. Um, Eliza here, uh, we will... Uh, you know what, we'll just get you up, because it's already almost 5, and you guys got school at 8, so let's go ahead and have you come eat some leftovers, because we really need to clear, oh, we don't have that many leftovers, okay, we'll just have some chocolate cake, so go ahead and eat some chocolate cake, uh, Derek here, uh, you need to get up as well, and you're gonna come ahead and eat some chocolate cake too, uh, so go ahead and do that, and let's see, Lizzie here, you, um, oh, you're really good on your sleep, uh, so let's go ahead and have you eat as well, and I don't, yeah, we don't have any more cake left now, but let's go ahead and just have you eat some cereal, and little Adam, we will get you up too, and you're gonna come ahead and have some cereal as well, so, you know, we, ha we have a full house today, we have a very full house, but, um, it's great. It's great. Ooh, ooh, your outfit. So sna oh, so snazzy. So snazzy, Derek. You, you, you go. You go, Glen Coco. You just, you look so great. Anyways, let's go ahead and check up on Gavin and stuff. Are they home? Yes, they are home. Shocking. They are never home. Are they home? Is Maddie home? Yes. That is really surprising because they never seem to be home. Even at 1040 something at night. Hi, car. That doesn't even exist in the game because there aren't any cars. Depressing. Anyways... So, yes, everyone is just, you know, getting ready. Um, excuse me? Did I talk? What? Whoa, uh, do not stand. Oh, you're, you're floating. You're floating, Adam. Didn't I tell you guys to get some breakfast? What are, what, are you guys trying to ruin my life? Like, are you serious? Go eat some cereal. Lizzie, uh, you need to go to the bathroom and stuff, but let's go ahead and have you use the bathroom, and then when you are done, you're going to come get some cereal, and um, did anyone else not get up like I told them to? All right, Lauren is now up, uh, so you know what? We'll have you come ahead and actually take a shower before the kids have to get up and things like that. Um, yes. Well, I mean, they're already up. You get the point. Uh, Orion, you just need to sleep, boy. You just need to sleep. All right, um, Eliza, you are now done. Yes, yeah, so your fun is a little low. So let's go ahead and have you... Actually, I think we might have you work on the piano. Is that considered fun? She used to get one skill to level three, and her piano skill is... Um, is the piano even considered something fun? I mean, I consider it fun. What? Take a leap. Okay, okay. You go do that. Um... I, I, I consider that to be fun, but she might not consider it to be fun. Uh, Derek here, let's see. What do you need to do? You need to get one skill to level three as well. He has no skills. He has no skills. Um, Since he, he has the energetic skill or whatever, uh, let's go ahead and have you go to an energized jog, you know, in the morning. You're going to be like Gavin. You're going to go for a jog every single morning. Um, anyways, uh, alright, everyone is doing good. Oh, Derek! 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 Derek. Derek. Oh, 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 Felicia! Oh my goodness, Derek, what is this? What is this? A rainbow hat? What is this? That looks like a, like it would be like a My Little, My Little Pony hat. Oh, he is a pony. He's a pony! Derek the pony! He has a little ponytail. He's a pony. Um, yeah, you go, you, you go. You go. You go, Ron Boy. Um, anyways. Oh, that's so awkward. 
but all right is everyone up and doing what they are supposed to uh, okay let's go ahead and have lauren um have something to eat go ahead and see if there's any leftovers left there probably isn't yes there is what i thought the kids ate the cake how did they what uh she also has some Oh gosh, she has she has groceries. We're gonna have to put all this stuff away. All right, let's see. Basil, uh, she has ten. We already have thirty. We'll go ahead and sell the rest. Uh, Thirty-four mushrooms. We don't need any more, so we'll sell those. Grapes. We already have twenty, so we'll sell the rest. Ooh, we get two hundred and seventy-two dollars just for grapes. That's crazy. Um, we already have twenty onions, so we'll sell the rest. Uh, we have enough spinach so we'll sell these we have plenty of carrots so we'll go ahead and sell these oh my goodness we're getting so much money now um we have enough cherries so that's cool anyways all these kids are about to go to school let me actually let my cat in and we will deal with this oh 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 you're so cute oh you're so cute rebecca anyways let me go and let my cat out all right guys so let's go ahead and <laughs> get back to this anyways Rebecca you are now up let's go ahead and have you uh eat some breakfast here uh what do you why are you why are you dressed like that <laughs> I don't get it anyways go ahead <coughs> excuse me let's go ahead and have some cereal uh Derek uh you are going to be going to school soon uh Oh, you cannot be dressed like that. All right, really quickly, let's go ahead and head into Create a Sim, and I am going to, or we are going to have to change his outfit and also change um, Orion's outfit. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so here is what we are working with here. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what does this even say? What? What is this, Derek? This is not you. First of all, let's get rid of your glasses, because that's not going to work. Let's also get rid of your hair, because that's not going to work. Let's also get rid of your clothing, because that is most definitely not going to work. Let's just get rid of everything. Let's just start from scratch. You're a teenager. You're in high school. Let's make you look snazzy, boy. Um, so his hair, I want to give him similar hair to what he had before. Uh, this looks really nice on him. It really does. He looks good. Can we change his eye color? No, we can't. Should we give him, like, a weird hair color? Should we give him, like... Ooh, that green hair, though! Actually, looks really cool on him. Just kidding. Um, he could have gray hair. He could have, like, a light blonde. Uh, what, what is his original hair color? I forgot. Uh-oh. He was just a regular blonde, wasn't he? Um... I just realized that. We, Derek is a blonde. We have a blonde child. Oh, my goodness. But, yes, um, I would like to give him, like, a different hair color. Ooh, 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 he looks good with that hair color, but it reminds me of Gavin too much. I miss Gavin. Um, we definitely have to visit him pretty soon. Let's just go back to the blonde hair. I'm actually going to go ahead and do his outfit, and I will be right back with you guys. We will also do Orion's in just a moment, too. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I changed Orion and Derek's clothing, so here is Derek's everyday wear outfit. Um, now that I look at it, it doesn't look that great, um, but it took me quite some time to figure out what I wanted to give him. Um, so I might end up changing this in the future, but I think for now it will do. Uh, so he just looks like really preppy and adorable, you know? Alright, here is his formal wear, it's just very simple. It's there. <laughs> Athletic wear, it's there. It's very teen-like, I think, if that makes any sense. And it just looks nice on him. So that's what he's going to be wearing. Here is his sleepwear. It's very simple. A sweater and pants. You know, that works. Party wear. Um, this was actually automatically given to him. And I just kept it the same because it doesn't look horrible to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I think it looks okay. Uh, here is his swimmer. I just gave him some trunks. I was like, there, there. I don't, I don't know. There you go. Um, now for Orion, guys, brace yourself. He looks so freaking good looking. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at that. Look at this. Like, just look at this. So what I did is I like, actually changed his hairstyle. Wait, did I change his hairstyle? Wait. I thought I gave him. Okay, yeah, I gave him this hairstyle. I'm not sure why it, wait. Okay, yes. So here he has just like a mohawk looking thing, and he has some facial hair that I gave him. I just think it makes him look a little bit better. Here is his everyday wear. It's just, yes. 
just take a moment, guys. It looks perfect. So I absolutely love that. Here are his, his formal wear. I decided to give him this color scheme because since Lauren and him are going to be getting married at some point, her color scheme on her dress is like a purplish. And so I decided to give him like blue just because I think it will help pop as well. So he looks great. Here is his little athletic wear. It's just gray. Gray. You know, just gray. Here is his sleepwear, just a sweater and pants, you know, the huge party wear is just, oh, it looks so great. And then here is a swimwear, which is trunks and sandals. So, or shorts, I should say. That makes any sense. Anyway, so let's go ahead and head back into the game here and get some things crack a lacking, you know? Alright, guys, we're going to go back into the game and look who is running! Gavin! I get whoa. Um, I get so excited seeing Gavin running every morning like we used to. If you don't remember that, then you need to like watch those old parts. We used to have him jog every single morning. Like it was he it was very rare for him to skip a morning. Like he was always jogging every morning. And look, now he is running every morning, and I love seeing him jog in the morning. It's like the greatest feeling in the world to know that we raised that guy, and he still does what we always had him do. I just, I love Gavin. Gavin is like my favorite child out of all of them besides Maddie, because he is just, he's cool. He's awesome, and it's just, oh, he's our first child. Anyways, I'm gonna cry. Anyways, um, all the kids are gonna be going off to school in just a moment. Bye, Gavin. We love you. We love you more than everyone else, so <laughs> good to know. Anyways, uh, Orion is still sleeping here. Um, this part might end up being a little bit longer than normal because not only is Rebecca gonna be hopefully having her baby today, but also I want Orion and Lauren to get engaged today. So, you know, and then in the next part, they can have the wedding. So, that's cool. Anyways, Rebecca, um, all right, the kids are going off to school. That's awesome. Derek's off to school. Derek is a teen now. Crazy, 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 crazy. Anyways, we should change the color of this fish tank. How about purple? Like a purpley. We could do like yellow. Um, we could do orange. Uh, let's just do yellow. Why not? Um, but anyway, oh, I see. It changes the color of the sides, I think. Yes, um, anyways. So, uh, alright, let's go ahead and figure out some stuff for them to do. Rebecca, you are in your third trimester. When are you going to be having this baby? Come on. Let's go ahead and actually have her work on some painting. Let's do landscape painting. That's cool. While we wait for this baby to come out, Orion, I think I'm going to have you actually get up now, and you're going to come eat some breakfast. So go ahead and have some leftover cake, and, um, yeah. And Lauren here, I need you to do something fun. So how about you just come watch TV, I guess. Uh, you can watch the Romance Channel because you guys are about to get married and stuff. <laughs> get uh, engaged. Well, my cat. What are, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's crazy. Anyways, uh, we also have a, like, a police officer here. This is, uh, what is her name? Lily Muller. Yep. We also have Daniel Rivera. Anyways, come on, guys. All right, Rebecca, let's check up on you. What are you doing here? That looks great. It looks fantastic. Anyways, what we should do is we should assign what each kid is going to have to do. <gasps> Eliza, go to school! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! She's like an hour late. Oh, my gosh. Girl, you better get to school. You better get to school, girl. Anyways, um, I want to assign things for each of the kids to do. So, Derek, let's see. You're a beast. Ooh, you're not doing too good on your performance. He didn't do his homework last night. She's late for school. What? Oh! Oh, my gosh! And the principal is calling. Oh, my gosh. She's going to get in so much trouble. Anyway, she's lucky she's doing really good at schoolwork. But, anyways, um, Derek, you need to work on your school stuff. Um, oops. Uh, let's see. Lizzie, you're doing pretty well. Let's have you actually make some friends because I don't think you know that. Oh, you know a lot of people, actually. Um, and Adam, I think we might have you make some friends. Yes, because you don't really know anybody. So let's go ahead and have you make some friends at school. Um, 
Oh, he's a C, 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 he's a C student. Never mind. Let's have you work on normal stuff. We want you to get good grades. So just work normal. Um, all right. Rebecca painted something. Ooh, that looks great, I guess. I mean, I, I guess, I guess. Should we keep that? How much money do we get? Oh, we'll just sell it. You know what? That looks great, though, Rebecca. You did a good job, girl. Anyways, let's go ahead and have you make something else. Let's have you do a medium pop art. I love pop art, by the way. That's my favorite paintings that they can make in this game. Anyways, uh, he. let's go ahead and have these two chat with each other because it's about to, it's about to get good, guys. Um, are all of the lights on? Let's go ahead and turn them all on. So we have some good lighting in this house. Uh, let's go ahead and have these two start chatting with each other because they are going to get married. They're not married, but, you know, they're going to get engaged today. So that's that's exciting. That's exciting. Anyways. Oh, you two. You, oh, you two. Oh, oh, look at that face. Oh, come on. <laughs> he just had to change his face, right? Ooh. He's making a move, guys. Oh, this is cute. You know, they definitely have to take, like, a, a dating selfie. So they'll definitely have to do that in just a moment. But oh, this is cute. Go ahead and make out. Why not? Um. Anyways, who is this out here? Uh, should I care? No, I don't care. Um. Anyways, ooh. Yep. Yep. Oh, aren't they the cutest guys? They are so cute together. Like they are. They're just. They're so snazzy. So snazzy, guys. So snazzy. Okay, that's enough. And then we have Gavin's wife out here. I'm pretty sure this is Gavin's wife. Is that Gavin's wife? Nope, that's not Gavin's wife! Uh, it looked like Gavin's wife for a moment, but it's not, so. You know, uh, this is interesting. Anyways, uh, we need to get them to a point where they can um, get married or get proposed. Like, he can't propose to her yet. Let's go ahead and snuggle. Uh, oh gosh, now that Eliza is getting pretty good gates, little gates, pretty good grades, some police have been picking on her lately, oh no, Felicia, should she confront them with the witty comeback or ignore them and hope they'll pick a different, confront those bullies, um, yes, she unleashes a tirade of poetic insults and put downs and drops an imaginary mic. Anyways, oh, these two. These two are just the cutest in the world. Let's go ahead and check up on Rebecca. Oh, that looks... Oh, my gosh. I love it. I, I'm not going to sell this. I actually really, really like this. I, I really, really like this. This is super cute. I could definitely see myself using that in a future house. So let's go ahead and have her do something else. Let's have you do... Let's have you do a large pop art painting. We're getting good money from this painting thing. I'm, I'm excited. Anyways, you two, you guys need to hurry up and get proposed. Get proposed? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, go ahead and uh, do stuff. Do stuff, guys. Look deeply into her eyes. Do it. Look deeply into them eyes. Like a weirdo. Yes, do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, let's see. What can they do next? They can try for a baby. The Sims household is too big. Yes, because we still have a baby on the way, so we won't do that yet. But let's go ahead and have them. I need them to, like, uh, what? How come they can't get married? Let's see. Um... How in the world can't someone, like, propose to the other person? Um, you know what? I don't really have the time for this. I think it might be because um, her relationship with him is really good, but his relationship with her isn't that good. So let me go ahead and cheat, and I'll be right back! You guys, guys, I'm just going to cheat. All right, guys, so I did the cheat, but it's still not letting them get married, so I'm a little confused. Uh, but let's go ahead and check up on Rebecca while they flirt and all that. Um, yes, you have to go to the bathroom. Okay, uh, okay, you didn't freaking finish. What? What in the world is that, Rebecca? Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're definitely selling that. Um, but these two, like, what? what is... But I don't get this. Um, let's actually turn off this TV too. Um, I don't get it. So chimps and Bobby. Lurbis. I don't get it. Um. Oh, Why did it go down? This doesn't make sense. 
Okay, it might be because they're actually sitting down because I remember off camera it was going to let them propose to each other. So, yeah, it might be because they are sitting down, but it could be wrong. Uh, they could become best friends, too, but I want you guys to be, like, extremely good friends, you know, profess your love to him. Yep, she just has it, like, written down and stuff. Oh, they, they are, like, the cutest people in the world, I swear. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Um. Seriously, come on! How do you guys, like, get married? This doesn't make sense. It was giving me the option before. Here we go, propose. Actually, I want you to propose to her. Um... High enough romance. Okay, then we're gonna cheat and we're gonna do it that way. Alright, guys. It is the time. It is the time, guys. It's going to happen right now. It's going to happen, guys. Oh my god. Yes! Say yes, girl! Look at her. She's like, yes, I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so cute! Oh my goodness! Look at him! He's like, what? What is this? What is going on? Um, this is cute! They are now officially engaged! This is exciting, guys! Yes, you guys! So, I think in the next part, we are definitely going to throw a mini wedding for them. It's going to be a very good time. But, Rebecca, you need to, like, first of all, go resume this painting, and you need to give birth. Like, why have you not given birth yet? This doesn't make sense. You guys need to hurry up. But I think I'm gonna have these two try for a baby. Um, I always... Actually, they can't because... Oh. Yeah, they can't yet. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Um, so I will have to do that once they, um... You know, are living on their own. But let's go ahead and have them, like, take a photo with... Your boo. Take a photo with your boo, guys. Take a photo with your boo. Yes. Okay. Yes. So then we can hang this up in your house and it would just be the cutest thing ever. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. That's cool. I love you too. I love you too so much. Rebecca, what is this? Seriously, are you are you serious? That looks weird. Anyways, so yes, now we're just waiting on Rebecca pretty much. Like, can you hurry up and give birth already? Like Seriously? Can't you give birth now? <laughs> We're waiting. Um, but I do think, guys, once we move um, these two into their own house, I have a feeling they might end up living here. Now, everybody that lives in this house over here is currently an elder, like I believe every single person. Um, so I think what we're gonna end, I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to move all of them out, or at least some of them, and I'm going to uh, turn this into what I like to call the Reese Estate. Since we're going to be having so many people that need to live next to us, I decided we're just going to have a bunch of Reese family members living in this house, and we can just visit them all at once. I think it'd be kind of cool, so that's kind of like a mini project that I have. But um, Rebecca went ahead and finished this little painting here, which looks definitely a little interesting. Let's go ahead and sell it, though, because I don't want it. Um, and we're still waiting on her to have this baby. Um, the kids are already... He got what? Okay. Um, we need something for her to do while we wait for this stinking baby to get out, so I think we're gonna have her do some yoga. Yep. Go ahead and do a little greeting pose. You're gonna do some yoga, guys. <laughs> In front of all your children. They're going to be like, what, what are you doing with your life? Um, let's have all these kids work on their homework, though, because that's pretty important. Uh, Derek, do your homework. Let's sell your old one, too. Um, Lizzie, go ahead and work on your homework. And little Adam, you'll work on your homework, too. Yes, and these two, I guess they could just keep chatting with each other. I don't really know what else they should do. Um, actually, I think I'm going to have these two help these little children with homework. I think that is very cute. Since they have nothing to do, it's also very helpful. So go ahead and help. Um, let's see. Lauren, go ahead and help your little sister Lizzie with her homework. And uh, this guy, <laughs> whatever his name is, um, go do a friendly introduction because I guess those two don't know each other. Uh, we're still waiting on Rebecca to hurry up and give birth. Like, come on. I want to go to the hospital and give birth to this little child. Um, Alright, come on. 
Come on now. Hurry up. Move on. All right, go ahead and help him with his homework. And Rebecca, come on. Boo. Come on, boo. Can you, can, can you not? Like, can you just pop that little baby out already? That's the only pose she can do. Yep, that's that, guys. Um, seriously, okay, let's have you go to sleep, I guess, for now, because you are very tired. Um, I think I'm actually going to kind of, uh, like, I will see you guys a little bit later once she's actually in labor, because pretty much all we're doing right now is we are just helping kids with homework and waiting for her to give birth. So I will be right back with you guys once something happens. <laughs> Alright guys, so it is now time. We have this Rebecca girl into labor, so we are going to actually give birth in the hospital because I really, really like that feature. We have, I, I really quickly though want to show you guys what everyone else is doing. So pretty much I'm having some of these kids get off to bed and I have them work on some skills and their homework and they ate dinner, things like that. Um, so Orion just took like a bath or a shower and now he's just cleaning our little bats up here because we love him. Lauren is off to bed. Eliza, we need to get you off to bed. But one thing that's really exciting, though, is she was actually working on her little piano skill. And so she is now on level three because her little school thing told us that she had to be on level three. Um, so she's going to go ahead and head to bed. Derek... Uh, what are you doing? You're washing the dishes because we love you. So now you are going to go ahead and go to bed. You could take a shower in the morning. Uh, Lizzie is going off to bed. Uh, and Anna is going off to bed too. So now we just have to deal with Rebecca. And I am having her make some tea. Um, okay, so I guess she'll just have a quick sip. And then we will head out to the hospital. I'm excited. Drink that tea, girl. You're in labor. Oh, oh girl. Look at her. She's like, oh, my God. I don't want to do this again. Like, why? Uh, but, yes, that belly is so big. Oh, my goodness. Um, yes, Felicia. Anyways, all right, let's go ahead and head out to the hospital here. You're done with your tea. Uh, but first, let's actually have you go to the bathroom. You all right, guys, so we are now heading out to the hospital. I just had her go to the bathroom, which she is actually a little bit hungry now. But, um... I'm excited. Um, really quickly, let's actually get these kids off to bed because they're supposed to be freaking sleeping. Orion will also have you come to bed too. Rebecca's having a baby. I know. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! No, guys! I had to go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me explain something. I got the notification saying, like, hey, oh, that's the pizza guy. Cool. But it asked if, um,. Oh, I believe that's the dad, too, of our child. Is that the dad? I believe it is. I could be wrong, though, actually. But it basically said, um, you know, she's going to the hospital. Would you like to join or send a loan? And usually when you click join, you usually have to, it usually means that you get to pick, like, the baby's father to go with to the hospital. So I said send a loan because I don't really know who the child's father is. I don't remember. So um, there's no point in sending someone with her like that. But I thought it was still going to let us, like, go with her to the hospital, and it won't. So I guess she's just having the baby, and we'll have to find out. But do you guys think it's a boy or girl? Boy or girl, guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys think, guys? Boy or girl? It's a boy! No! I really, really, really wanted a girl just because we just had a boy, so that sucks. But um, I'm going to go ahead and head into the comments, and I'm going to try to pick a boy. Actually, I don't even think anyone gave me any names, so I guess we're just going to randomly generate a name, and uh, we'll see what we get. Darren Reese. Giovanni, Darnell, Jaquan, Abraham, Glenn, Darian, Brett, Johan, Jarrett, Deontay. Okay, these names are really, really weird. Um, Jody Reese. That's actually really cute. We'll do Jody. Jody Reese. That's cute. Um, but I can't believe she had a boy. Oh, and this guy. He's like, oh, snap! Because <laughs> his freaking girl's having a baby. But, um... Yes, that's my reaction exactly. But this is really exciting. So I guess she had a little boy. Aw. What the? Why is he running away? He's like, oh my goodness, I don't want to be a part of this. But all right, guys. So she went ahead and had a little baby boy. So let's go ahead and check it out. I really, I was really, really hoping for her to have a freaking girl. But she had a boy. So I think what we're going to actually do is in the next part, we are not only going to have a wedding, but I think we're going to have her try for a baby with somebody else. I just want to start popping out these babies because... 
you know, we really need to. Actually, I don't even think she can try for a baby in the next part because, um, yeah, I don't think she can try for a baby in the next part because we technically have eight people in the house. I think what I'm going to end up having to do is I'm going to end up having to move these two out into the Reese estate and then I'm going to end up having to have them plan the wedding and then just invite over this house and we go over to we go over there. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'm going to go ahead and end it here and yeah, so exciting. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.